And if you're running late and have to jog a little, that's all the more effort expanded. So are you telling me that if I have a train, look at me, I'm done. So I'm on the board, hey-ho here. Thank you for joining me as always. And do we have a doozy today? Thank you to the person that sent this to me on Instagram at SimonMeta316 because every single fitness article that you are going to find in 2022 is either going to be nonsense advice or it's going to be telling you, oh, you don't actually need to go to the gym. You don't need to train. You don't need to burn calories. You can do all this other easy stuff instead that you're going to do anyway and you're going to get in the shape in your life. Now, before we do get into it, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but it's not true. <laughs> it's not true. If you want to get a certain type of body, you're probably going to have to do cardio. You'll probably have to go do weights. Or you're probably going to have to come up with an amalgamation of all of these, like mixed martial arts or boxing, wrestling, whatever it may be. Okay? Sometimes you just have to do the thing that you think is the right thing to do. Like if I say to you, do you want an apple? You just go hump and you eat the apple. You don't go over to, I don't know, Asia, and I start throwing the apple in the air, hoping that it lands on a plane, and the plane flies over to Africa, falls off, and you go, up, up. thanks for my apple. That is stupid, and it didn't even make any sense. But we do turn to CNET, which actually is a decent website, all things considered. <laughs> they put this article up a few days ago that says you can skip the gym with these 10 everyday activities that count as a workout. Now I was like, oh man, this is going to be dumb because there's nothing you can do as a normal daily activity or everyday activity that is going to be the equivalent of getting on a cross trainer. I have a cross trainer just off screen over here and doing that for an hour. The only thing that's the equivalent is by doing that. So we're just going to go through them. I don't want to read all the blurb because it, it, it's that classic, oh man, no one has any time to go to the gym. Arnold Schwarzenegger put that one to bed like 20 years ago. Get up an hour earlier. I know you want to sleep. We all want to sleep. But all of a sudden you have an extra 60 minutes in the day. So it's not really an excuse. And I do know sometimes it's hard to go to the gym, but I would actually probably just not bother <laughs> rather than get into all of this. Anyway, there's a bunch of blurb, a bunch of stats, which may be true, maybe not be true. We don't know. And I suppose the interesting part is there is one subheading is can daily activities really count as exercise? Short answer, yes. Your body can't tell the difference between bending over to pull out a weed and bending down to pick up a kettlebell. That is true. But the intensity and the tension and the sheer amount of effort you have to put into those two things are drastically different. And I don't think you're going to stand there picking up a weed for an hour. Whereas with a kettlebell, you may do it because of course you've gone to the gym and you've put yourself in that focus. So let me just get to number 10, wherever it may be. Here we go. So that ties into what we just said. Number 10 is yard or lawn care. Anyone who's ever mowed the lawn by hand in the height of summer knows that it's a true workout. And they've got a scientist or some kind of expert in Nunes. Aside from the low impact and cardiovascular benefits, mowing the lawn requires a lot of functional movement, primal patterns in the process of a setup, mowing the lawn and clean up. Other types of yard work than a great workout include gardening, weeding, shoveling snow or leaves. Now, shoveling snow is an interesting one. If you plan to have your workout on a Monday as shoveling snow and it's July, unless you live in Canada, I don't even know if they have snow in Canada in July, but I don't think you're going to be able to do it. Now, if this was true and this was accurate and it was the case, why would anyone be doing exercise anyway? Why wouldn't you go into the garden? And this is going to be the familiar theme throughout all of these. These are extra calories that you're going to burn off anyway. We've talked about calories in, calories out a thousand times. And the reason you have to have a certain amount of calories to begin with is one, so you don't die, but also two, so you have the energy to do the normal things that you would do in your life anyway. Do not forget, a calorie is just a unit of energy. So if it is Tuesday and you have to take the kids to school and you have to do the gardening and you have to pick up some groceries which is going to require uh, carrying some heavy bags that's what you're eating for and if you are able to go into a deficit and still do all of those things you're going to lose weight even if you're not doing traditional exercise so yard or lawn care bull crap it's not going to get you in any kind of a shape all it's going to do is make you happy in your tum tum because your garden looks nice and move on to number nine again just kind of touched upon it running errands who says your hour-long daily walk can't be through the aisles of target seriously though errands often involve plenty of walking carrying lifting other movements the key word there is often involve plenty of no they don't no they don't firstly everybody drives anywhere anyway two why do you want to walk around target for an hour wouldn't it make more sense to go to target it by the apparatus that you need and then go and do your walk later <laughs> around a nice park now if you as long as you're getting your 10,000 to 20,000 steps in a day if that's what you want to try and do is massively helpful gonna you know uh, assist you in your weight loss journey it doesn't actually matter what you're doing it you can do it at the park you can do it at target you can I can do it around this room I can talk around 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 but after a while I'm gonna want to kill myself because it's so boring but once more, I do not understand how you plan that in. And I bet after 20 minutes of walking around Target, you're going to be bored or you're going to be asked to leave because they're probably thinking you're like casing the joint in order to do some kind of robbery. And 
the other thing as well, if you have an hour to just walk around Target, why are you going to the gym? Number eight is cleaning the house. Cleaning the house can involve a wide range of physical movements, going up and downstairs, carrying things from room to room, pushing and pulling them up or broom and more. Once again, you're not going to get the tension. You're not going to get the weight that you needed. But also, let's say you start cleaning your house every single day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. In case you don't know the days of the week. Have a guess what's going to happen by Thursday. There's not going to be that much to clean. So straight away, the amount of effort you're going to be put into it is less. And if this was true, or had any kind of truth to it, I mean, your diet's going to play a part too. But if you're a cleaning person, you're going to be like all fit and jacked. And I've seen some jacked and fit cleaning people, and I've seen some obese slobs. You want to know why? Because there's absolutely nothing to do with cleaning. Moving on, I actually get to one that I'll take, and I'll put a mini tick next to it. Walking the dog. Need we say more? Yes. You may be more occupied with getting your pup exercise during their daily walk, but don't forget that you're getting your steps in at that time too. That one I agree with. That one I agree with. That's the same as going for a walk. And I actually agree with the next one because the next one is walking anywhere. You may have heard that sitting for long periods at a time is bad for you, but getting up and moving your body every 30 minutes is helpful and walking is great exercise, period. Whether it's to the mailbox, down the hall to wave your co-walker or to grab a snack. That's why I get so mad at these articles. Like... Why don't you explain what the snack is? Or if you go, I tell you this, if you walk down the corridor to get a chocolate bar, that walk is absolutely pointless. But taking it on a more general level, yes, walking the dog, also good for you and good for your dog. Double, excellent. And going for a walk anywhere is good. If you can walk, go for a walk. Again, 10,000 to 20,000 steps is just going to be great for you even if you're just worried about your health or you're just trying to get in better shape healthily, whatever that means. But just a general better state of health, walking is going to be good for you. So you should absolutely do it, especially because it just requires moving in whatever direction you want. And then it just goes off the rails. It's like we got two that you could kind of lean into. And then it's the I'm late sprint. Don't even get me started on this one, but I'm going to, obviously. If you take public transportation regularly, you probably get a ton of light to moderate intensity activity throughout your days just by getting to the bus or train. And if you're running late and have to jog a little, that's all the more effort expanded. So are you telling me that if I have a train, look at me, I'm done. If I have a train at 10 a.m., I should aim to get at the station for 10 a.m. just so I can run and I suppose get a little bit of hit cardio and then maybe miss my train. How is that good for anyone? So, okay, let's say it does work. It won't work. Let's say it does work. Do you know what's going to happen eventually? You're going to get fired and lose your job because you never turn up on time. And then sure, you're going to have plenty of time to go and exercise, but you won't have any money to do it. That is one of the dumbest things I have ever read. As is playing with your kids. Got kids in your life? As if you've stolen one? Getting involved in their play rather than watching from the nearest couch or bench will have you out of breath pretty quickly. Well, it shouldn't. <laughs> if you're out of breath playing with your kids, do you know what you need to do? Da, 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 da. Go to the gym. And then there's dancing. Maybe you like to go out dancing. Maybe. Or maybe you're more of the soli solo dance party in your pajamas. You get arrested for that type. Either way, know that dancing can be a full body workout and great cardio too. Yeah, sure. Lots of gyms have like Zumba and other dance related classes there in their buildings, in their fitness palaces of love. So you can do it in your home too. Again, that's like me using my cross trainer. I could do it in the gym. I could do it here. I've got no problem with that as long as you treat it like a class. Now, once again, are you more likely to put the intensity in at home? Or are you more likely to put the intensity in when you're actually in a designated classroom? Just, you know, my, my two cents there. But once again, if you do have one hour just to dance around your house, I'm not saying it, you, you, you take my point. And then we talked about this one before, but it's still on here, laughing. Laughing. Ever heard of laughter yoga? No, nobody's heard of laughter yoga, apart from the crazy person that's the end of the street. One 2014 study, one. One study, I, I could make a study that disproved it, found that laughter yoga is a better ab workout than crunches or backlifting exercise. So the more humor you find in the day, the better. Right, no one should be doing back exercises to work their abs. That's nuts. That's nuts. It didn't say abs, it didn't say core, did it? It said abs. No, better ab workout than crunches or backlifting exercise. There's no such thing as a good ab exercise, really. There's not. Crunches are good. Uh, laughing is good. But the point is this. Abs are a, a body fat percentage thing. You can do zero ab work, and if you get below, well, some people can be 15%, but usually you get below 12% body fat. That's a very rough figure. It's not really one-to-one. -one. You're going to see your abs, even if you've never done anything on them. So laughing. And what are you going to do? Ha 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 I don't want to hang out with that guy. He's got a serious problem. The last one, as these stupid things always do, have sex. Like, that's just a prerequisite. Sexual activity is also a moderate, intense workout. For me, it's not, but I'm tsh. Though, of course, it depends on the specific activity. It uses even more energy than weight training. Oh, that's such a crap sentence. A, how do you know that? Whose weight training are you comparing it to? An infant? 
a fetus, then yes, probably so. But the other thing is, you're not looking to use energy when you weight train. You are going to, because we've already talked about that, but you're looking to break the muscle down and then put it back together and hopefully be a bit bigger. That's what you're doing for weight training. They should be comparing sex to cardiovascular activities, like the cross trainer or the treadmill or playing tennis. And do you know why they don't do that? Because they know it's not even in the same ballpark. So they just threw something in there that you would probably have some kind of affinity towards. I guess for more on staying fit without the gym, <laughs> I hate that sentence. Learn how to tell if you're healthy without any tools or tests and which vitamins you should actually take. Oh, yeah, it's the vitamins. You're not taking, you're overweight and you don't have muscles. You're not taking the right vitamins. It's absolute nonsense. It's stupid. And it's annoying because people listen to this stuff. I don't know how many people go on CNET, but I have to imagine it's quite a lot. And people looking for an excuse not to go to the gym will then take it and they will not be able to understand why they're not getting in the right shape. It's because it is hard. That's it. That's the long and the short of it. It can be quite tough to get in shape, not necessarily from an effort standpoint, but from finding the routine, from getting your food in. Yes, admittedly, finding the time to get to the gym, but you have to make sacrifices. And when you do get into it, I promise you this, you will feel better mentally and you, of course, will feel better physically. And you should be doing all these things anyway because that's your life, but you should also be incorporating other things. You don't have to go crazy. You don't have to go to the Fitness Palace of Life every day. Three times a week is amazing, especially right now if you're doing zero. <laughs> you're doing zero and then you add in three. My math isn't great, but I think the graph goes up. So as always, ignore that nonsense. It's absolutely stupid. And leave a comment below and let me know how silly you think it is. Also, like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Hit the bell, ding, ding, notification cruise. You know, the videos are going live and please just watch them because, you know, views are hard these days. <laughs> Click the video on the screen. Once again, let it play. I don't care if you watch it. Just let YouTube think you have seen it. And then what else can you do? I can't even remember. But you can go to gorillamind.com forward slash Simon. You can Simon get 10% off. I use these supplements. I think they're good. All the uh, information is in the description below. At Simon316 on Instagram and Twitter. Give me a follow for my ego. Patreon.com forward slash Simon316 for rewards and videos. Like my reaction stuff, which YouTube took away and destroyed my life. On Cameo, if you want to shout out, Simon.bigcartel.com for merch. I've probably forgotten something, but I usually do. But it doesn't matter because the most important thing is I want you to have the best day ever. Thank you for giving me your time. Don't listen to nonsense like this. See you soon.